Hello everybody, this is Junior Gamer back to kick off the quarterfinal round for the Wicked Win Tournament. And yes, we have three, it's going to be three matches per video, so it'll only be two quarterfinal videos. So we will start off with the Afrovenator taking on Rugops, Ceratosaurus going up against Delta Dromius, and then Monolophosaurus taking on Neo Venator. Right, without further ado, let's get on with our first matchup, which is this one. Alrighty then, in the red corner we have, yep, my volume's fine, the Afrovenator. Afrovenator reigned victorious in the very first match of this tournament, defeating the Gojirasaurus. Which was kind of a shame, because, you know, there's a lot of the wind dinosaurs I like in this, I like them, I like them. It'll be tough though, because in the blue corner we have the Rugops. The souped up critical move of scissors there. Yeah, look at that power. Actually, both of these two have very powerful crits. You know, for a bronze dinosaur as well, that's really good. Of course, his other two moves are significantly weaker. So it could come down to who gets their crit off. The Afrovenator has the Tornado Toss, and the Rugops has the Hurricane Beat. Oh, hang on. Ooh, the Rugops gets the first hit, but again, it wasn't a critical one, so not much damage will be dealt. Oh, the Rugo Rugops getting off another hit. A good start from the Rugops, this. Um, just, just a reminder that this will be a best out of three, so whoever wins it, whoever loses this, will not be eliminated. Well, not yet. They'll still have a chance. Ooh, Rugop's getting off the crit. That might be lethal. Oh, it's not. But the Rugop's has yet to be hit. Go on, a Frovenator. Do something. Okay, it's a tie. It's a tie, you know, it, it, it did damage. But the Rugop's dominated in the opening match there and takes a 1-0 lead. Right, let's get on with round two. Alrighty then, round two in the red hot magma field, which is in which is makes sense because this match is looking to heat up. Oh, I think that's the Yang Chongosaurus brought from the anime. Alrighty then, can a Frovenator actually get a hit? Um, still no. Oh come on, don't be one-sided, random number generator. Come on. Let's have a good match. We want a good quarterfinal match between two of my more favourite wind dinosaurs. A Frovenator finally hit it back, and it's skydiving time. Like like a quest would be able to do that. <laughs> it can it can barely lift his own weight up, yet alone a Rugops. But. That hurricane beat has been triggered. Ooh, but but Rugops will not be getting it off this time. But the Rugops will get the hit. And remember, the Rugops does have the tie attack, so ties will favour Rugops more. Oh, that's a, speaking of the devil, I think a Frovenator can tank one more tie before it dies. Ooh, but it doesn't need a tie because it gets off another skydive. And this is at least a Frovenate that's putting up a fight. Boosh! You know, it's good, it's good to see the Frovenate again a fight back, making this a little bit more interesting. But can the Frovenate win it? One tornado toss can change everything. But not today, as the Frovenate finish. No, as the Frovenate is finished off by the Rugops. The Rugops mightily impressive there, taking a 2-0 win into the semi-final round. Who will his opponent be? Well, we're going to find out in the next matchup, which sees the Ceratosaurus taking on the Delta Dromius. Alright, let's hope for a bit more of an exciting match here between the Ceratosaurus in the red corner and the Delta Dromius. This Ceratosaurus was pretty solid in its opening match. Like all its other bronze counterparts, it survived into the quarterfinals, but can it secure that semi-final place? 
and a matchup against Rugops. Or will it be this Delta Dromius? Who are you rooting for? I'm, I'm, kind, I'm kind of rooting for the Delta Dromius. So, I'm sorry, I know Sartosaurus is a popular dinosaur, but I, I just like Delta Dromius. Da -da 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 -da. But it doesn't matter which one I like. The only thing that matters is which one of them can win. Ooh, the Delta Dromius off to a good start. And it's a critical block. That will help it out loads. Which means, by our own rules, the Delta Dromius will be going for a crit of his own. Ooh, the Ceratosaurus will be doing it too. And ladies and gentlemen, the Delta Dromius is getting off a Sonic Blast. It's been a good start by the Delta Runner. The dinosaur that might not even exist. That is actually true. You know, Delta Dromius is one of those G species that, you know, might not actually exist and it might be something else. I mean, I hope that's wrong, because I like Delta Dromius. As I said, I like Delta Dromius. But, you know, you, you never know. Like, you know, it's all, it's all guesswork at the end of the day. And until we're able to see one in real life, everything is guesswork. I mean, some things are just a simple matter of common sense. But other stuff is always going to be gases. It's always going to be a guess. Anyway, back to the match. The Ceratosaurus putting up a fight. Getting off that atomic bomb. And some... Is that defense boost? No, that's a technique boost. To synergize with that Jet Shuriken, which it hasn't got off yet. Ooh. Hold your horses here. I think the Ceratosaurus might have just bought himself a win. Okay, maybe not. But this is more like it. Well, the Ceratosaurus has bought himself a win. A strong start from the Delta Dromius here, countered by the Ceratosaurus's strong finish. But I'm sure, but as, as I've said many, many times, it's the best out of three, so it's not over yet for Delta Dromius. Right, round two. Alrighty then, round two between these two bronze bruisers. Can the Delta Dromius even the score, or will the Ceratosaurus pick up after its impressive finish? Oh, we open up with a tie, and it's going to be Sonic Blast time. I believe Del this Delta Dromius is a Charge type. Yeah, I think yeah, I think I put Charge type on it. And I'm just going to get me notes out to double check. Delta Dromius. Yeah, it's charge type. That means it deals more damage in a tie. Although it still takes the same amount of damage it normally would take. Oh, a crit from the Delta Dromius. What have we got here? It's a death grind. You know what that means? The Ceratnosaurus is about to get the gas. Oh, oh, it's dead. Well, that was quick, wasn't it? Right, you know what that means though? It's going to come down to this next matchup. Ooh, it's a clash at the beach between our two bronzes. But which one has enough strength to secure that semi final place? Well, the Ceratosaurus needs to hope that a Sonic Blast doesn't activate this time. Because if it does, the Delta Dromius will be in a strong position to win. Oh, we open with a tie. But this time, there's no Sonic Blast. But a tie does suit the Delta Dromius more. However, that suits the Ceratosaurus more. An opening crit. Big damage dealt, and there's the Technique Boost. And here comes Jet Shuriken. This is why we have Technique Boost with Ceratosaurus. To increase the... Oh, wow, I almost killed it. To increase the likelihood of Jet Shuriken being activated. And look at that. After one hit, the Delta Dromius is hanging on by a thread. And that thread has just been severed. Just like the Delta Dromius did in the second matchup between these two, the Ceratosaurus makes quick work of, of the Delta Dromius and secures the semi final place and a matchup with Rugops. Ooh, that could be an interesting matchup. Wow, these. 
one thing I've noticed in this tournament is that these matches are really quick. I mean, a lot of the wind dinosaurs have really high attack as well, so it makes sense, but wow, that was really quick. Right. <laughs> on to our final match of this session, which sees the model Officerus taking on Neo Venator. Alrighty then, in the red corner we have the model Officerus. Model Officerus reigned victorious over the Fukui Raptor in the first round. Dino Illusion definitely helped it out. I mean, Archaeopteryx Charm is was useless as always, and, well, you know, Elemental Power was quite useful as well. But, in the blue corner, we have the Kano Killer itself, the Neo Venator. This beast rate victorious over the Carnotaurus in the first round. And, you never know, could it be one to watch in this tournament? You know, this match is literally going to be defense versus attack. You have the more defensive minded Monolophosaurus taking on the fast and attack minded Neo Venator. Oh, and we open with a tie. Um, ooh, that might suit the Mono more. Yeah, the Mono took less damage, so ties would help the Monolophosaurus more. But I think that's because my Mono is defense type. Three ties in a row here. The Neo Venate, the Monolophosaurus, though, does have the slight advantage. Oh, and finally, after a constant stalemate, the Monolophosaurus gets the opening hit, and it's a critical one. There's the elemental power there, coming in handy. It will limit the damage that Neo Venate can do. Oh, there's another tie. Wow, <laughs> it's going to be a tie fest this match. Ooh, the, it's a biting wind. But with that elemental power, the damage will be reduced. Oh, oh, it did the damage or it. Oh, okay. <laughs> it sometimes does that biting wind. There's the dino illusion. Now I would say that Monolophosaurus is on top. As the new Venator needs two hits, whereas the Mono only needs one. And now it can even be a tie. And yet, a tie is the perfect way to end this matchup because we have had nothing but ties. I think the Mono got one hit off and the new Venator got one hit off. But the ties favoured the Monolophosaurus more and that enabled it to win the first round. But as you know, it's the best out of three, so let's get on with round two. Right, Dio, round two between these two little terrors. And so far, I'd probably say his defense one attack nil. But all that can change after this round. Okay, that's a two. And that, my friends. Oh, here we go again. It's another tie fest. But as we saw in the last matchup, the ties favored the model of Thesaurus more. Oh my god, another tie! I hope I get this many ties in, in my matchup in Blood Moon's tournament. I'd be over the moon. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Oh, that's not good. Okay, since that was a crit, I'll give the I'll give them what was supposed to happen. And yeah, you can see how powerful mo Neo Venator's crit was there. And there's the Struthio Rush as well. Boosh! Okay, it doesn't look like it's going to change this matchup. I mean, if Neo Venator wins anyway, it doesn't matter. And there's the attack burst. Oh, Archaeopteryx Charm. That's a rare... That's a, that's a once in a blue moon move. We never see it. Um, the Neo Venator getting off another hit. Neo Venator looking much stronger in this matchup. Starting to display those traits that enable it to defeat the Kano. Oh, oh, another tie. Oh, oh, and, and again. Oh, look how tight this matchup is. Only because I'm... Now you have to do this. Okay, I'm going to have to be quick. 
reflexes. What a time to do it, eh? Random number generator. What are you playing at? Okay, that's a four. And that's a five. Okay, I'll click the paper and it'll automatically click the rock. There. And, well, despite my little misstep, the Muvenator wins round two and evens the score. And that is very good news for me because I wouldn't want the Mono to win that matchup after that. But it didn't, the mistake didn't matter at the end because Neo Veneto won anyway. Right, but you know what that means? It's all coming down to this next matchup. Alrighty then, it's all going to come down to this clash between these two now. Which one has any, which one has the most fuel left in the tank? Which one can get the, gets the hits off? Which one will get its moves off? We're about to find out. Oh, and, and fittingly enough, we start with a tie. You know, seen quite, no, I haven't seen any of those in this matchup, have we? Oh, another tie. Although, in the last matchup, the Neo Venator did manage to turn the screw, and I think it might have just turned the screw here, getting off an opening crit. However, that Dino Illusion has been triggered. There's attack burst there, bursting up that attack damage. Oh, no, I've done it again. Mm. Okay, the Monolophosaurus was going to win that anyway. <laughs> there was supposed to be paper and not rock, but, you know, doesn't matter, I suppose. There's the elemental power. Oop, here comes that hit from the Neo Venator, oh, but, but the Dino Illusion there is stopping the Mono taking any damage. Oh, well, never mind. Despite the mistake, the Neo Venator has won. The Monolophosaurus has bit the dust, and Neo Venator will be advancing to the semi finals. Ooh, could be an interesting semi finals. Because his opponent, well, it'll have a favourable chance against his opponent as well. Well, you're going to find out now when, I, when we look at the table. Alrighty then, here's how our format looks so far. We have our first semi-final matchup here between the Rugops and the Ceratosaurus. And then we will have Neo Venator facing off against Eva Lillian Sternus or Eustreptus Vondalus. So as I said, Neo Venator will be quite the favourite in this match, whoever it faces. So could Neo Venator win this tournament? I mean, once it gets past the semi-final round, it's got a chance. Hell, I even think it's got a chance anyway. I mean, all the goals and all the big hitters have been knocked out already. But anyway, that's enough about that. Stay tuned for next time, where we will see the Lillian Sternus against Eustreptus Bondless, Majungasaurus taking on Sejuangasaurus, and Indosuchus going up against Alpha Dilophosaurus. And until then, this is Strange Gamer, signing out. Goodbye.